Now, News 8 Sports with Mike Hostetler. It's the high school version of March Madness for our area. The district playoffs tipped off tonight. We've got six different games from four counties, and we had some humdingers, including a fantastic finish between Greencastle and Susquehanna. Susquehanna trailed most of the second half, but would tie the game late. Final minute when Greencastle snares a rebound and starts a fast break. Seth Sprague finishes, and the Blue Devils by two. But Hannah doesn't quit. A.J. Dean puts it on the floor, goes strong to the hoop. Plus the foul, his free throw put Hannah up by one. Six seconds to go, Greencastle's ball inbounding. Denver Cordell drives, then pulls up. Yes, with one tick on the clock, Greencastle wins 64-63. Trinity, the number two seed in AAA at home against Kennerdale. The Shamrocks start fast. Kevin Agnew with the steal, goes in and misses, but fights for the rebound and puts it back in. Agnew pumped in a game high 22. Trinity leads wire to wire as the Shamrocks win their 13th straight district playoff game, 66-47. Lancaster Catholic was the top seed in boys AAA, but the Crusaders hadn't played in a week after being stunned in the opening round of the LL League Tournament. Tonight, the Crusaders on their home court hosting Gettysburg. Early on, Crusaders swinging the ball around, finally get it to Phil Wenger inside who muscles it in, putting Catholic in front. This was all Crusaders. Wenger firing a no-look pass to Paul Sinkowski, who gets the easy finish. Catholic rolls 64-38 and will face Greencastle next on Friday. More boys AAA, Suburban at Northeastern, where Bobcat fans providing some heat for some home cooking. Suburban pushing it up, Ryan Donahue drives and hits, Trojans by three with five minutes to go. However, Northeastern would not go away. The score tied, Northeastern's Khalid Nwandu, popping the open jumper, putting them up by two with a couple of minutes to go. They hold on for the win, 51-47 and will face Anvil Cleona in the next round. Under the girls' districts, the Mannheim Township Blue Streaks came in as the number two seed in girls' quad A, riding a 22-game win streak and fresh off capturing the LL League tournament. Yet, the Patriot News predicted they would be the victim of an upset special to Carlisle. The thundering herd trying to win on the road, and this was a tight game the whole way. Fourth quarter, Carlisle down a point until Ja Ray Patterson drives, grabs her own rebound, puts it in, giving the Herd the lead with four minutes to play. Township's Kirsten Green takes over down the stretch, knifing through the defense, getting the friendly roll. She had a game-high 28 as Township survives the upset bid 49-45. The top seed in girls quad A, Red Lion entertaining Cedarcliff. Early on, Red Lion trying to inbound, but it is stolen and taken down court by Kiana Williams. Plus she gets fouled and the Colts are in front. Red Lions' Taylor Houston works the pick and roll with Erica Maschieski, and the Lions go in front and win it going away 60 to 46. NFL football news, the Saints cut tight end Jeremy Shockey. New Orleans had a capable backup and Shockey's price tag, nearly five million, made him expendable. The Flyers' Oscar Bartulis not feeling well against Phoenix and here's why. Watched by the side of the net, Bartulis gets blindsided by Scotty Upshaw and sent crashing into the boards. Bartulis had to leave the game. This one would go to overtime. Coyotes on the power play, get it to Shane Doan who whistles it into the net. And the Coyotes win their ninth in a row, 3-2 in OT. All of, uh, Hall of Fame coach gets a slap on the wrist? No. We're going to a play o day. We head for home with dial 911. Mark Stahl not feeling well because he takes a shot against Carolina. And the player delivering that shot? Mark's brother, Eric, who received a penalty on the play. A little brotherly, I, you can't call that brotherly love, a little brotherly bumpy. The penalty maybe? was mom in the penalty yeah, box giving spanks. <laughs> All right, thank you. Well, coming up, police try to.